Hey, good Monday morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Do you like my headline there? Yeah, finally a week of weather that you won't dread. I'm thinking about it on a selfish nature. Finally a week of weather without a major, major storm system that uh, we'll have to deal with. So it looks like a fairly quiet week and the temperatures this week just slowly marching upward. We're going to teeter on the edge of winter versus spring and I'm going to actually start this with the longer term outlook 6 to 10, 8 to 14 days out to show you that if you're a spring lover things are starting to head in the right direction. Hey good morning Kyle McCarty. Alright first off we will start with today and something we all need and that is a dose of sunshine we can always use that here in Michigan and it's gonna happen uh, you see little banks of clouds in places but generally you're seeing mostly clear skies hey good morning Reese gateway to the thumb as we like to call it Mike Joy good morning and Paula McNichol good morning all right this is the temperature anomaly for the next 10 days okay and here's what I want to show you I'm just looping it for you we're gonna jump back to the start okay here's the start now and we're slightly cooler than normal but you'll notice that as we go through the next 10 days more warmer than normal conditions than colder than normal conditions and like I said we're kind of on the edge of winter versus spring where's the winter the winter is up here and can drop down into Michigan occasionally hey good morning Chris Ritasiak mm, you're getting closer to working in the fields buddy but probably still <clears throat> at least a couple of weeks away for the sugar beets good morning Steve from Battle Creek uh, but again uh, what I want to show you is that the this model the American model shows warmer than normal but I want to emphasize it's not extremely warm you're talking 40s and 50s now look at the 6 to 10 day forecast that's for warmer than normal temperatures normal amounts of precip 8 to 14 day forecast still leaning toward warmer than normal conditions maybe starting to get a little stormier the 3 to 4 week forecast that's in effect for March 30th to April 12th warmer than normal conditions drier than normal conditions hey farmers Chris Ritasiak you know that's a pretty good recipe for <clears throat> excuse me improving soil conditions hey good morning Jeff Gilbert yeah Paul Elliott take a hike buddy fake weather news get off the party all right so I told you pretty quiet week let's go through Tuesday into Wednesday now this is the American model and it shows you why I say we're on the edge of winter versus spring because these storm systems are gonna loop down through the Northeast and backlash us with slightly cooler air so it keeps us from just busting into spring like weather but it's not a major storm system for us either that's on Wednesday in early Thursday and again you don't see any one of these monster storms coming out of the west and heading our way and as we get toward the weekend high pressure builds in and we might start to get a southerly wind back <laughs> Jeff Gilbert he's a former GM GM of mine my my favorite GM by the way I'm gonna go on record as saying that um, he wants to know how my gardens growing well it's it's frozen still so we're getting her soon here um, and into the weekend pretty nice weather so I think things are really starting to improve now having said that today we get some sunshine but March is also the month where you get a couple of spurts of showers here and there and this is the afternoon this is a uh, six seven o'clock this afternoon the evening I guess I should say um, and you could get some spurts of a snow or a rain shower but nothing that is definitely significant at all temperature wise today we're about 40 with sunshine that's not gonna feel too bad 42 in Ann Arbor okay 
Um, 40 in Grand Rapids, 40 in Saginaw, 40 in Traverse City, mid-30s, UP. We're getting that slow melt that we also needed where the snow is real heavy. Hey, good morning, Karen Bouvet from Reese, and good morning, Rick Tamalia. Tomorrow, add on a few degrees, low to mid-40s. Wednesday, add on a few degrees, upper 40s. Thursday, kind of holding the same because of that cold front moving through from the north. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, you know, it's, I guess what you'd call a really kind of quiet weather forecast as far as storminess. We'll take it. I don't know if you got the muddy paw syndrome going on at home where the dogs get out, the uh, sun comes up, it melts the frost on the ground, and then it's just a big muddy mess. And we got one of our dogs is just going right headlong toward the mud area. The other one's staying out of it. Well, in this kind of pattern, you will have frosty mornings, so the ground firms up in the morning. So when the dogs go out early in the morning, it's no problem. But when they go out, uh, you know, three or four hours later, then you got to be there ready with the washcloth before they come in and destroy the house. Hey, good morning, Maureen Dwyer from Livonia and Norton Shores, Julie. Um, so there's your forecast. Enjoy it. It's just slowly getting better as we get through the week. Take care. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Thanks for joining me this morning on the MLive Morning Weather Update.